Hi students, let's see from the number system the place value and face value of a digit. We know that the numbers are formed by digits. Of course, each digit have face value and place value. Let's see. See, the number just I get 32576. Here we are going to find out the face value and place value. Ready? We know that actually here 6 have the face value 6. Again, 7 have the face value 7. See, that means here what you can see direct the digit that is direct or face value. See, now here 5, this 5 is the face value. Here in this number 2 is the face value. Here for 3, 3 is the face value. Direct what you see the digit that is called the face value. Once it goes to place value, first we know that 6 is in the unit place. So 6 direct is the place value. Once it goes to 7, we know that 7 first will write. After 7, 1 digit is there. That means 1, 0 will keep. That means 70 is the place value of 7 from this number. Ready? Now the next one, 5. First we will write 5. After that, we know that after 5, 2 digits are there. That means 1, 2. So 1, 2, 0 will keep. That means it becomes 500. Next one, 2. See, first we will write 2 for the place value. After that, we will count the digits 1, 2, 3. That means 1, 2, 3. This is the place value of 2 from this number. Ready? Next one, 3. See, first I will write 3. After that, 1, 2, 3, 4 digits are there. Isn't it? That means we are going to write 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. I hope you understood. So when you come to the face value, direct will keep the digit. But when it comes to the place value, first we will write the digit. After that, how many digits are there after the digit? Isn't it? That will be zeros. So, to get such videos, stay tuned.